Okay, welcome Guardians, and today I'm gonna be showing you the fastest way to farm Relic Iron or if you need it, um, Relic Crystals and the Relic cryst Crystals are for the Exotic Sword Quest for the Dark Drinker. The Dark Drinker, as you can see, is the Exotic Void Sword that you can find in Destiny. Um, so basically what you want to do is farm a lot of Relic Iron and it has a small chance of dropping that that relic um, that relic crystal so what you want to do for this is just head out to Mars this is where it's gonna happen baby so why don't you do that let me speed up and then we will be on our way okay so once we've arrived on Mars what you want to do Getting is check if you have a ghost shell that detects or marks nearby relic iron. Another way to do this is if you don't have the ghost shell, you can always use your Night Stalker subclass from the Hunter and make sure you have Keen Scout on. Basically, Keen Scout does the same as the ghost shell, but it also marks uh, chests. So. Yeah, basically sometimes if there is a chest and you don't open it, the relic iron in your environment won't spawn. But as you can see, I just head in and I basically spawn relic iron already. So then you take your spider, uh, speeder, go over here. That's what I just, honestly, okay, it's gone. And you can see over here, see, here's a chest. But this is not our route that we are going to take, but basically if you put it on, you can instantly start farming the area that you spawn on. Okay, so we're gonna head left here into the tunnel. And then you enter the hollows and basically this is where you're gonna start your farming route so what I usually do is I start over here because sometimes there's relic iron over here in this crater but then we head out to the left and as you can see bingo we have relic iron so then we hop on the spider and we check this area over here again something it's found here and we just take the left here, go around there, and as you can see, inside here is Relic Iron again. You cannot summon your sparrow here. And then you want to check here on the right side, because sometimes here under the pillars, and up top there but I don't know how you get there but I know you can get this one and then you just make your sparrow disappear and then you stay on the right side here sometimes it spawns here and you go to the left and check here as you can see over there again it spawns Eating. Sometimes you can spawn on the left side here, and then what you want to do is head into the next area. I always cover two areas because if all the relic iron is claimed on one area, you just leave the first area and go to the second, and then there probably spawns. Um, some relic iron back and uh, because it needs a cooldown it has to have a cooldown of a few minutes or seconds I don't know the exact amount but yeah so that's why I, I use two areas um, I think it's more effective also when there are other players farming as well um, it's easier to avoid uh, them taking your relic iron uh, okay so now we're in the second area and what you want to do is Hug the left side and then go behind through those pillars. Sorry for my English. And then check over here. And here, is there something? Not 
Okay, and then we go to the left side here, and as you can see, Relic Iron again. And then I mostly go in this area over here, but I found out that not many Relic Irons spawn here, but you can always check it. And then you just go to the left side, and then you just go up here, just a little bit. And if there's nothing here, just turn around because sometimes there's relic iron over here by these lamps. And then you want to come inside here. There's always um, a minotaur, I think, or some snipers here. This time there aren't. But you mostly, mostly find some uh, chests inside here, in that area, and then in this area, you see? There's a chest right here. I don't even. I don't think the um, the relic crystals can spawn in chests, but I usually take chests as well because if there is a chest here, there's a chance that there won't spawn um, relic iron in the neighborhood. So what you can do next is you can either choose to get hit. Okay. You can either choose to jump up here and then just jump on the roof. See, and sometimes there's a chest over here. But what I mostly do, and I think there's even a ghost shell, a dead ghost over there for the ones who don't have it yet. But what I mostly do is just, when I come out of the building, just go under here. Sometimes there's one on the left or the right. Just come over here check here because sometimes it's up top and then just turn around and as you can see in this corner this is also a, a popular spot for relic iron just take it and let me just kill those bastards Sometimes there's a chest in here, let's see, and then you can continue, most people forget about this one, but there's also an area over here that can have a chest, and then we just go back to here, I think there's another player on there, and then we just go up into this little area. And then we can kill a whole lot here. So. There we go. And then you have a chance of finding a chest in this area. Uh, I think there's even. Let's see. When the area where you start, there's a chest. There can be a chest. I think there can be up to three chests in this area. Uh, sometimes there's one behind this corner and one in this area. Then we just go outside again and then sometimes there's relic iron over here um, on top of there. Then we go the sparrow again and then in this area there's all, sometimes a relic iron over here. Um, you can also check inside of here. Sometimes there, there's a chest in here. Uh, and then what you basically do is just head on out to the previous area. You see there was, a, there was another player, I think he was farming as well. But there's a chance if I go to uh, back to this area here, and then I go back to the area where we came from, that, 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 that player will be gone. So. Okay, so we're back here, and as you can see, already relic iron. No, 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 ride my sparrow, don't do it. Okay, we take the relic iron. Up on, and just continue here. Basically, you just want to slide left and right. See? See? Relic iron. 
and then there's one on the inside over here. And there's again that one behind the bars. If someone knows how to get that one, please let me know in the comment section below because I don't. Okay, so I'm gonna take out this guy. Also, this is this area and the the previous area where we came from is also a good area to um, have taken corrupting the area. So if you're here, um, there's also a chance that you can do the taken corrupting. So you can take out the, the Taken Champions or Lieutenant, no, it's first the Lieutenants and then there it is, the Taken uh, Captains. Okay, see, Relic Iron over here, go back to the left. Sometimes it says that there's Relic Iron right over here, but that just means there's Relic Iron inside. Sometimes right behind the corner, and other times it just up top, left or right. And then we just go out again. Try and go from left to right. And we're going back to the first area, uh, the second area. And we're here again. See, there's now two players. There's even Taken corrupting the area. But as you can see, it's pretty easy. See, Taken Lieutenant corrupting the lands. This is a bonus when you're farming here. So, um, yeah, that was it, guys. Um, this is the route that I took when I was uh, farming for um, Relic Iron back in the day. Or um, also when I had to do the. The quest for the relic crystals for this dark drinker and uh, doing the two areas really helped me out so um, I hope this route also helps you guys out um, if you have any questions or um, any suggestions for a better way to farm this uh, just let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and um, if you want to see more future videos of me you can always subscribe so I want to thank you guys again for watching, hope this helped and uh, see you in the next one, peace.